Hey, what is up guys? Shady Wags back with another Fishing Planet Lake Revisit. And today I'm going back to Naharan River in North Carolina. And just like the last Lake Revisit to Colorado, I'm approaching this as a non-premium player with no DLC content. If you're a new player, the Naharan River location becomes available to you at level 10. But I wouldn't go there until you're at least level 15 because at 15 you unlock the larger 55 pound fish keep. And you're going to need that to make profit here. Also, I'm still going to use the same rod and reel that I used at Rocky Lake, the Elemental 8'6 spinning rod and the Windcast 2500 spinning reel. And I'm going to go ahead and purchase the Advanced North Carolina license so I'll be able to keep any bass that I catch. And that's what I'm going to be going after here, the bass. There are big catfish in this river, but without a bigger fish keep, those catfish just are not going to be profitable. I'm going to be doing a two-day trip. The initial transfer fee here is $2,800. And each additional day is going to cost an additional 500 I know with a 55-pound fish keep, about the average I'm going to make per day on this trip is $4,000. So a one-day trip would only yield me around a $700 profit. But if I take a two-day trip for $3,300, I can make around a $4,000 profit. And that's pretty substantial. Now, the way I used to fish this river a year ago is I would load into this spot right here and I would make my way around the trail until I came to this spot where the trees are down in the water. Then using a third ounce bass jig, I would cast out across to the rocks and also I'd cast to the left to the area down the river. Then just by using stop and go, I was able to pull in largemouth bass. It seems like every time I cast, I'd pull one in. Well, this just doesn't seem to work anymore. Not only do they not bite on that bass jig from here, it seems like they just, they won't bite on anything from here. I'm not sure what the problem is here. I'm not sure if it has to do with the flow of water, but something definitely has changed from the spot because I could not get anything to bite from here. So what I did, I went back to the map and I started over here and I followed this path all the way around till I was in the back of the area that I was originally casting to. That's right over there. That's where I was before. That's where I was casting from. And then what I did, I tried the bass jig again. And from right here, I was able to catch bass, but nothing like I was able to a year ago. They just don't seem to like this bass jig anymore. But what I discovered is if you go to the shop, there's a yellow and red half ounce two-aught casting spoon. And when I switched out the bass jig for that spoon, they started biting again. And I began catching bass pretty consistently, much like I was a year ago off that bass jig. It just doesn't make much sense that they won't bite on the bass jig, but they'll bite on the spoon. I'm not sure why the devs made this change. The problem with this is with that rod and reel that I'm using, this is some really long and tough drawn out fights to pull those bass in. They will fight you till the end every time. And there were actually plenty of fish that I lost to line tension. And there were plenty of casts that I was throwing out there that were getting tied up on the bottom. And I was pulling in shells and shoes. And I think at one point I even pulled in a foot. So overall, this works just not as efficient as I would like it to be. So what I did is I went back around the trail over to the sunken car and I moved right in back of the car. And from right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift and drop bass. So I switch out the casting spoon to a one third ounce two aught jig and a three inch yellow grub. And you can get both of those from the shop here at Naharan River. Then what I do is I cast out about 40 feet in between the water lilies. And then I just use lift and drop. I hold down the strike. I don't let off of it. And then I'm just going to tap in reel. And what happens is once the bass take that bite, they are automatically hooked. And then from that point, I just keep the strike held in. And then I'm going to hold down the reel button and it's going to pull them right in. When you hook them in this area, they just don't have anywhere to run. And it's pretty amazing how quickly you can reel them in. It just takes all the fight out of them. I just did this over and over right here. And within no time, I was filling up the 55-pound fish keep with largemouth, smallmouth, and pike. I'll be the first to admit that this is not the most exciting fishing in the world, but it is fast. And on a normal day, I can be finished and have that keep filled up by 10 a.m. And by catching the bass this way, you're not going to have those long, drawn-out fights. So you're not going to be putting any wear and tear on your rod, reel, or line. And that saves you money on repairs. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I will talk to you later. Have a good one.
Yeah. Shady Wax got your back. It's so entertaining. You need to subscribe to Got Your Back Gaming Gameplay and Reviews. Even doing walkthroughs. This the best gaming channel. I'm just telling you the truth. PS4, Xbox One, or even PC. Plenty tips, all the tricks. This is just what you need.